Hi, this is Algebra 1, Lesson 90. We're going to talk about word problems with two statements of equality. We're starting on page, 100, page 374. This list lesson is really a continuation of the last one to give you more practice in writing equations from word problems. So here's our first example. Together, Charlie and Nellie picked 32 quarts of berries. If Charlie picked six more quarts than Nellie picked, how many quarts did each of them pick? So first we're going to find two statements of equality. The first one is that together Charlie and Nellie picked 92 quarts. So we're going to say Charlie plus Nellie equals 92. Okay? So that's our total quantity. We also know that Charlie picked six more quarts than Nellie did. So Charlie equals Nellie plus 6. Okay? Or you could have said Charlie minus 6 equals Nellie. That would have also been correct. Now we can use substitution. We know that Charlie equals Nellie plus 6, so we can substitute Nellie plus 6 for Charlie in the first equation. So we'll have Nellie plus 6 plus Nellie equals 92. 2 Nellie plus 6 equals 92 minus 6, minus 6, 2 Nelly equals 86, so Nelly picked 43 quarts, right? If Nelly picked 43 quarts, then Charlie picked Nelly plus 6, which equals 49 quarts. Okay, we can check by substituting both of these into the original, so that would be 43 plus 49, which does indeed equal 92 quarts. So that was your check. Okay? And these are your answers. Let's try another one. The number of boys in Sarah's class exceeded the number of girls by seven. If there were a total of six of 29 pupils in the class, how many were boys and how many were girls? So, we know that the number of boys exceeded the number of girls by 7. So, boys equals girls plus 7. Or you could have said boys minus 7 equals girls. We know that there is a total of 29 pupils in the class. So, boys plus girls equals 29. Okay? Now we can use substitution. We know that boys equals girls plus 7, so we can substitute that in. And we get girls plus 7 plus girls equals 29. So 2 times girls plus 7 equals 29. Subtract 7 from both sides. 2 girls equals 22 divided by 2. And the girls equals 11. So there are 11 girls. If there are 11 girls, then we can substitute this into here. Boys plus, uh, boys equals girls plus 7. This is 11 plus 7. So the boys equal 18. And our check is 11 plus 18 should equal 29. And it does. So that's true. So here are your answers. Okay, let's try another one. Philip cut a 38 millimeter, sorry, a 38 meter rope into two pieces. The long piece was nine meters longer than the short piece. What are the two lengths? So our two lengths are going to add up to 38 meters. So we have a long length and a short length and they equal 38. Right? Okay, the long piece is 9 meters longer than the short piece. So the long piece equals the short piece plus 9. Okay, we have two variables and we have two equations. So now we can use substitution. So we're going to substitute s plus 9, short plus 9, into long in this equation. So we have short plus 9 plus short equals 38, 2 times short plus 9 equals 38. We subtract 9 from both sides, we get 2 times short 
equals 29. So the short one equals the short one equals 14 and a half meters. If the short one equals 14 and a half meters, the long one equals the short plus 9, so that's going to be 23.5 meters. And if we add 23.5 plus 14.5, that equals 38. So that's your check. So here's your answer. Okay, here's the next one. The sum of two numbers is 72. The difference of two numbers is 26. What are the two numbers? So the sum of the two numbers is 72. The difference is 26. So we have a, number, a greater number and a smaller number, and the sum of them is 72. The difference, the greater minus the smallest, smaller equals 26. Uh, we can use elimination on this one. If we add these together as they are, the S's are already going to cancel. So we have 2G equals 98 divided by 2, and the greater number is 49. If the greater number is 49, then the smaller number, we can plug this back into both of them, into both of the equations and solve for the smaller one. So we have 49 plus s equals 72. Subtract 49 from both sides and we have s equals 23. And over here we have 49 minus s equals 26. This is negative s and this is negative 23, so s equals 23. Okay, so those are your answers. Here are a couple more. The greater of two numbers is 16 greater than the smaller. So we have two numbers again, and the greater is 16 greater than the smaller. When added together, their sum is four less than three times the smaller. So we're a little we have we're a little more complicated now. So the greater of two numbers greater is sixteen greater than the smaller. So it's the smaller plus sixteen. Their sum G plus S equals four less than three times the smaller. So 3s minus 4. Okay, and now we're going to find the numbers. We already have an equal sign here with g on one side. So let's substitute s plus 16 for this g. So we have s plus 16 plus s equals 3s minus 4. Now let's get all of the s's on one side. So if we simplify this a little bit, this is 2s plus 16 equals 3s minus 4. So let's add 4 to both sides and subtract 2s from both sides. And this is 20 equals s. So s equals 20. We can substitute this into both of the other equations and solve for g. So g equals 20 plus 16, which equals 36, and g plus 20 equals 3 times 20 minus 4. So g plus 20 equals 60 minus 4. So g, let's subtract 20 from both sides. So G is going to equal, this is 56 minus 20 
which equals 36. Okay? So G equals 36. The ratio of two numbers is 5 to 4, and the sum of the numbers is 63. What are the numbers? You remember ratios are just fractions. They're simplified fractions. So the greater number over the smaller number is 5, is the same as 5 over 4, or at least simplifies to 5 over 4. And the sum of their numbers, so G plus S equals 63. What are the numbers? We can cross multiply this and get 5S equals 4G. And then we can solve this one for G. Say G equals 63 minus S. And then we can use substitution. We're going to substitute this into here. 5S equals 4 times 63. Sorry, that's a 63. 63 minus S. So 5s equals 252 minus 4s. Add 4s to both sides. And we have 9s equals 252. Divide both sides by 9 and s equals 28. And now to check we can say from up here that G plus 28 equals 63 and we can plug it into here and say 5 times 28 equals 4 times G. So minus 28 minus 28 and G equals 35 5 times 28 is 140 divided by 4 and G equals 35. Okay. That's it for this lesson. Try your practice problems. Let me know if you have any questions, and that's it. Thank you.